If you are one of the 18 lucky people that have so far watched my previous video where I was looking for mushrooms in the woods in November, you will know that I'm a bit of a nature nerd. I love walking quietly through a nature reserve looking for wild animals, standing in the dark at 6am waiting for the sun to rise over a rocky coastline, and crawling on my hands and knees in the woods searching for interesting mushrooms in the autumn. What you're less likely to know though is that I also really enjoy street photography. I find I can be much more creative and really work a scene to make the most of it. I like to use shapes and colours and shadows to create interesting compositions and explore the more artistic side of photography. As an introvert, I am far more comfortable alone in the woods than I am walking through a busy city centre with a camera in my hand. I've always found it difficult to point a camera at a stranger and I think this has meant that my street photos tend to include people as unidentifiable smaller elements which add to the scene rather than being the subject themselves. I think this is why I love the work of classic photographers such as Fan Ho and Saul Leiter, as well as the modern day work of people like Sean Tucker and Roman Fox. For the past year or two I've kept my Instagram account and my new YouTube channel focused completely on nature photography, as I figured this would provide a clear sense of consistency and style for my followers, while it's giving me motivation and direction. The thing is though, that I've got another 50 years on this planet if I'm lucky, and in my old age I don't want to look back and realise that I only took photos of things I thought other people might want to see, rather than of things I was genuinely passionate about myself. So for this first street photography video, I'm off to Bristol for the afternoon. It's only about 40 or 50 miles away by car, but once I've paid for fuel and parking in the city centre, it's about the same cost as a train ticket. And using trains has two advantages. It's better for the environment because the train is going to Bristol whether I'm sat on it or not, and more importantly, if my feet hurt from walking around all day, I can have a little pit stop with a beer. As for cameras, I decided to take the X-T4 over the X100F because the 100F has got a fixed 23mm lens, whereas with the X-T4 I can use the 23 and the 35 whilst keeping everything nice and light. So the only parts of Bristol that I actually know are the shopping centre areas and the car parks. Uh, so it's not a city I know very well at all and I have absolutely no idea where I am at the moment. I just know there's quite a lot of boats. My plan today is kind of just to wander around aimlessly and see what's about. I know that's probably not the best approach but that's what I'm going to do. So uh, hopefully the sun comes out and we can get some good light.
So I've been here three hours and there's good news and bad news. The good news is that the sun is out and the bad news is that the sun sets in about half an hour. So there's not a lot of light left. And whatever light is about is just about touching the tops of the buildings. But you know, you've got to work what you got. So I'm gonna run around like a headless chicken for the next half hour, try and find some nice light to work with, take some nice street photos. So just like that, the sun has set and it's all over. I spent about three hours waiting for the good light. It came and then was all gone in a split second. I'm gonna wait and see if I can let it get a bit darker and try and get some shots of some people and some light. So I'm gonna go have a wait in a pub with a pint if I can find one. But my train's in an hour, so I'm not sure how many photos I'm gonna take. 